In this mini lecture, we will focus on referees and technology. When players are on the field, what kind of technology do you think they're using? Their equipment and even the ball reflect technological innovations. Major sporting companies spend a lot of time, human resources, and money developing the most comfortable cleats and jerseys. Jerseys today dry quicker than ever before even when it is so hot and humid like it has been in Brazil. The same is true with the referees. Their jerseys have become very comfortable. The same is true with their shoes. But that's not it. When it comes to referees, there's a lot more technology than what players are using. Referees use some technology that players don't use. For example, assistant referees carry a flag that has a button on the grip. If the referee in the middle misses a flag that one of the assistant referees raised, then the assistant can push the button that is on the grip of the flag. On the upper arm, underneath his jersey, the referee wears a receiver. And the receiver is the black box that you can see in the middle of the screen. When the button is pushed by the system referee, the receiver on the referee's arm will buzz and vibrate. This means that the referee can stay focused on a play without having to look away to see if the flag is up. When the referee thinks there could be a foul in front of him, rather than worrying whether or not the flag could be raised for offside or something else, the referee can stay focused to make sure that there's no foul. And if there's something that the system referee sees, then the system referee can bust the referee. The referees are also wearing a radio unit. It's an open system, meaning that referees don't have to push a button to talk to each other. It also has a noise filtering capability so that only the human voice, so not the sound of a referee's whistle or musical instruments played by the fans, will go through the system. On TV, you will never hear this. But referees are actually constantly talking to each other about what they see on the field. Before they signal, they say, free kick for the red team, throw in for the blue team. For the first World Cup ever, the goal line technology is being used to assist referees in game critical decisions. The technology proved to be a valuable tool in the confirmation of a goal decision in the France vs Honduras match on Sunday, June 15th. For more information on goal line technology, as well as images from the goal decision, point your web browser to the URL listed on the screen. So we know that this year, referees at the World Cup are wearing a goal line technology watch, they have the radio, they have flags that beep. With the goal line technology, when the ball crosses the goal line between the goal post and under the crossbar, the watch will notify the referees that the goal was scored. The technology was tested in different leagues and it has proven to be very accurate. Now, do you think eventually soccer should or will open its door to video replays and other forms of technology. Video replay is popular in other sports, but are not in soccer. And we ask this question from a somewhat philosophical perspective. As we all know, referees go through a lot of training. They have to pass physical fitness tests that is very strict every few months. They are actually as fit as players. Their heart rate, their body condition, their nutrition, they are all 
controlled. At the World Cup level, referees are athletes. When they make a mistake, it was not because they didn't try what they select off. It's an honest mistake. Just like an attacker from your favorite team often cannot get to the long pass from his midfielder, an assistant referee cannot run faster than a moving ball. But athletes challenge and push their limit with hard work. And we appreciate their effort, even if a player misses a shot most of the time. When there's just one beautiful goal after 20 attempts, that's still beautiful. But a referee, when he or she makes one wrong call in a match after making 20 correct calls, the referee is demonized. If we look at referees as a tool that makes calls, then any error by that tool is impermissible. A referee as a tool should not make any mistake. But what if we look at the referees as athletes? What if we look at athletes as people who try to push themselves across and over their limit? Then the referees as athletes may make an error, but that could also be interpreted as a testament of human athleticism. And probably technology should not intervene in the sphere of human capacity.